What's going on YouTube? Gravis in the here, and welcome back for another episode of City Skylines. Happy to be back. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, the two episode upload last week. Um, really the only reason behind it is because uh, episode 5 was super easy to record. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of uh, complications with it, so I went ahead and I uploaded two episodes for you guys. Now, if you remember last episode, we were working on the industrial area over here. And um, that is something that we are going to get back to this episode. There's also something uh, something else that I want to do before we go ahead and, um, and get into this particular area. Is I want to make a um, I want to make an access point from the industry area over here into the city. So the thought behind it is is we should have um, we should have a road connecting the two areas before we go ahead and redesign or not redesign but design everything. That way we don't go back later and have to destroy a whole bunch of things in order to make a connection. So that's the uh, that's the idea behind um, behind what I want to do before I create the uh, the forestry industry. With um, actually speaking of the forestry industry, what I'm thinking is that I um, I want to have it over here because um, simple truth is I I don't know what else to put over here in this area. So I think forestry would would fill it um fill it up pretty uh pretty well especially once we place some trees and whatnot over here i think that'll um that'll kind of fin it fill in this particular space and then for over here i still have not decided yet what we're gonna do but we we can work on that if you guys have any suggestions of what i should put over here let me know i know i mentioned that i um i was gonna do maybe a little bit of low density residential but We'll see. And lastly, what I want to work on is hopefully we'll have enough time in this episode. Is I want to redesign how the uh, the train cargo train station is placed over here. I don't quite uh, quite like it. It's kind of in an odd shape, if you will. So we'll uh, we'll go ahead and um, redesign that. You'll notice uh, here that I removed the two power plants that we had I think there might be a better location for them we just have to think of one but that is uh, that is about all in a quick overview of everything looks pretty good I still can't wait to zone this area over here when you guys mentioned that uh, that I should start zoning and I'm actually thinking about it. I'm thinking about maybe just zoning this particular area right here with uh, with some residential, not a not a whole lot, but just a little bit, and then maybe some commercial over here in the block, just to kind of kick things off and get um, get things going. And I did note that uh, when you guys suggested that I should put in a uh, cable car connection up this way, and I do like that idea. I'm pretty sure that we're going to go ahead and put that in. Just got to decide where. But let me um, let me just give this uh, a little bit of thought as far as how we're going to put this, uh, this intersection through here and also connect the other road over here on this side. And I'll meet you guys back in just a short while. Alright guys, so wanted to um, show you just really quickly how this um, this interchange is going to work it's it's nothing um, it's nothing too fancy I would if I may say so myself it's actually something that um, they'll find in uh, in every city See what that looks like. That's uh, that's nice and straight. What I'll do is I'll finish up um, finish up this whole side over here, and then I will um, finish up the other side and be back to show you guys 
or explain um, how this is going to work. So um, it's pretty simple, really. I I know here where uh, where I'm at in Colorado, we have plenty of these interchanges. And you're messing with me. There we go. That's even. Okay, all right guys, I'm gonna finish up uh, the other side and I'll be back in just a moment. All right guys, the intersection is complete. So let me explain exactly how this is gonna work. I'm sure you guys already have a pretty good idea, but it doesn't hurt, right? So I did of course a little bit of, um, a little bit of beautification around just to, you know, make it look nicer if you will. But um, the idea is, again, so if you're traveling on this side of the highway, the right side, you would get off on the um, the off-ramp. You have a choice to turn right and continue down this road, or you have a choice to go straight and make a left and go, uh, go on this road and go into that side of the city. So that's really the gist of... Um, of the intersection itself. Same thing if you're traveling from uh, from this side of the city. If you want to go straight, you go straight. But if you want to get on the highway, you um, you would get on the on ramp right here, or the on ramp right here, and continue alongside the highway and go about your business. So the idea now is going to be to connect it to the industrial area as well as the city over here on this side so I haven't really exactly figured out how we're gonna how we're gonna connect it over here to this side but I think we have a uh, a, um, a good start with the intersection over there so I'm gonna work a little bit on this area I don't think there's going to be a time lapse for it because it's just gonna be a whole bunch of boring um, testing work but I'll, I'll come up with something I'll uh, connect it over here and then we'll um, we'll work on this area right here so I'll meet you guys back in a little bit by the way let me know in the comments below what you think about this intersection all right guys so this is currently the design that um, that I've come up with it's more than likely gonna get changed because I know entering into the city over here, this is going to be a traffic nightmare. But for now, for now I think we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and keep it. The other thing that, uh, that we have to work on, of course, is um, the connection to this particular side of the city. And I'm gonna, I think I'm actually gonna turn this into a, um, Two uh, two roads, so kind of kind of like this right here, turning uh, turning this into or a portion of it at least into two roads will um, will give us easier traffic management, if you will. So I'll um, I'll work on that and I'll meet you guys back in just a little bit. All right, guys, and here is what this looks like so what I did here is let me show you from the intersection is I gave it a um, I gave it a highway 
that's uh, going out this way comes out here connects right here same thing with uh, with this one but the opposite direction of course so you're coming through and you're getting onto the highway here going around and going to the city or the highway whichever I did a little bit of a uh, beautification here in this particular area I think it looks uh, looks nice these little rocks are kind of hard to see from uh, from a far away but um, I don't want to put any trees right here because imagine if you're a um, if you're a car or truck and you're coming this way if you've got a whole bunch of trees right here it kind of um, hinders your sight if you will and then as far as um, the little decor goes over here in the uh, in the middle or in between the uh, the two highways it's just a um, little gravel uh, gravel path if you will connections right there and this right here so we have this in Colorado as well in um, Commerce City in particular so instead of it being a big old complicated interchange what you um, what you would do is if you're traveling alongside this highway and you want to get on that highway over there you would just make a um, you'd make a left and go straight so that is the uh, the idea here as well hopefully that um, that'll work for us and we'll just have to wait and see but that's what um, what I've come up with as far as a connection goes over into the industrial area I think the rocks and all really gives it a um, gives it a nice uh, nice pop or a transition if you will kind of from uh, from the city and getting into the industrial area not even sure if these trees are gonna survive from all of the pollution but we'll see so if if that doesn't work again um, bulldozer and will create something else now we do have to get into the uh, the forestry industry, and um, I think this is going to be more of a more of a simple layout rather than uh, than anything else. So we'll um, I actually might uh, might turn this into a time lapse for you guys, so you guys can uh, so you see, and I'll be back in just a little while. Well, it might not look like much now, but it'll look much better once it's all zoned. That's what I have for the forestry industry there. Now, if you guys noticed that um, I did move the cargo train station from um, from the farming industry here, so that's something that, um, that we're going to have to finish up as well. I am, um, am going to be putting in a, a road connection. Let's go free form here. So I want to have a road connection kind of leading to, let's say right about there for now. 
really mainly the uh, the reason that I put that in there is so I can make a road connection. out in our favor there, which is a-okay. We can simply do that. There we go. Much better. So we have a little bridge there. We can even... something like that so now we have a we have a road connection between uh, between those roads there is going to be a road coming let me just do a quick guesstimate and that might work out something uh, something like that we can get rid of that road there and we are going to have to make a connection over here I'm not sure if this is going to work but let's um, let's give it a a try let's see if we can sneak a road through here Well, would you look at that? Oh, I I really like the way that looks. Awesome. Small uh, small wins, right? Take them uh take them and we can get them with uh, with the game. Let's see if it'll let us No, it won't. It won't let us upgrade them. That's okay. No worries. We can We'll leave it just like that. I don't think that should give us any issues. Good. Very good. Alright, now we do have to work on... Um, let me get rid of this. The uh, the cargo train station over here. So, I'm uh, not sure if you guys noticed, but I adjusted this road a little bit. I kind of moved it more to, um, to the left. Just so I don't have to mess with... Uh, the highway itself, while uh, while bringing a road through uh, through there. So now we're gonna put a um, a cargo train uh, terminal right about in um, in this area, and then I'm gonna want it to go uh, connection. Um, we'll we'll figure that out. How about that? Let's first go ahead and put in a road so I think that if we put it angled kind of um, something like that let's see That's not going to work. Let's go ahead and adjust it just a little bit. So maybe two. Something like that. I'm intentionally keeping everything um, non-symmetrical in, uh, in this area. 
just for um for that more natural look if you will Let's see if we can give it a little bit of a bridge something like that comes down there curves down by two it we'll keep it for now at least let's go ahead and turn it off so it doesn't cost uh, cost us any of that uh, unlimited money that we have and now we just have to work on a um, uh, connection to get to the uh, the cargo train station actually let's see we have more room here to put in a, be a little bit more farming. Because as you can see, this right here is uh, is the farming area. That looks a little bit, uh, a little bit better. Okay, and we're gonna give these guys uh, two access points here. So what I mean, uh, what I mean by that is we can just draw a straight road like so. One like so. So this will hopefully connect without trouble. Perfect. One more. All right, there we can get rid of that and that. Perfect. So what I mean by two access points is um, if you're um, if you're coming from this side over here you can easily make a left and get in. And if you're coming out, you can make a right and get out. Same thing on uh, on this side right here. Since we have the room to play, uh, to play with it, I say, why not? That way they're not just one way. So if you're, if you're coming in, you'd be going all the way out this way, making a, a left and getting in. And then same thing if you're leaving, you're, uh, you're simply coming out here, making a left or a, or a right so that's uh, that's what I mean with uh, two access points now with that we can easily make a connection two connections let's say one there and one there and then this right here is just gonna be um, dead space if you will Maybe, maybe there, maybe there is where we put a couple of uh, water towers. So maybe, maybe one right in the dead smack center right in there. I think that'll look kind of nice with all the farms in the uh, in the background. And then we can do some decoration with uh, with rocks, couple of trees, you know, the works. All right, now finishing up this. Uh, this area here let's go ahead and we'll give it a access point from there I think that'll uh, that'll work just fine there we go and we can even
do something like that. Yeah. All right. This uh, this additional notification is gonna annoy me. There we go. Again, it might not uh, might not look like uh, like much right now, but you you'll see once so uh, once this is zoned and properly uh, properly decorated, it'll uh, it'll look a whole lot better. Kind of like this X section right here. It look uh, pretty naked without the uh, the trees and the rocks and decoration. And uh, lastly, let's go ahead and. Uh, put in a cargo train station over here for our forestry industry and I think this one should be pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and grab it. We'll put it right there and then the connection couldn't be easier. just as I say that. There we go. Perfect. Again, all these trains are outgoing trains. That's why we're using the, uh, the one-way train tracks. That way there's no incoming um, train traffic. It's all simply just outgoing. But that's it, guys. I think that's um, that's going to be an episode for now. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. We uh, we made some uh, some pretty good progress. We worked a couple of things. Um, when uh, in the beginning of this episode, when I mentioned that there's complicated episodes to uh, to do and uh, super easy episodes to uh, to do, um, just so you can kind of know what I mean by that is this particular episode this is day four of me working on it there's um there's been about six different interchanges that I put in here worked and reworked and terraformed and I even had something going uh going under like a like a overpass underpass type of deal here but then it uh Turned out to be way too big for the area, so I went with something a little bit, uh, a little bit simpler. And this right here, the inspiration just came from real life. So kind of uh, took it and ran with it. But thank you guys again for uh, for watching. If you have any suggestions, uh, go ahead and feel free to put them down in the comments. I I do read those. Um, if um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask as well. And as always, guys, be the best that you can be in everything that you do.